One of the things the media looks forward to every year is hearing from the commissioner of the Big Ten, Jim Delaney. He's always kind enough to give us some of his time as well. So, Commissioner, we welcome you. Uh, you talked a lot about the future of college sports today. I want to get into that with you. But first of all, look, we live in the television world. Right. We want to talk about TV. This has been a, a summer of a lot of discussions some rumors about yeah. what might be happening with the Big Ten TV deal. What can you tell us about where the yeah. conference is headed? Yeah, what, what I can tell you is um, after a number of years of preparation, changing our schedules, finding out um, how tolerant our schools are for different kinds of programming, and then going into the marketplace with that information, we've arrived at very mature understandings, um, both in basketball and football, uh, with some old partners and some new partners. Um, we haven't done uh, all of the you know, legal T's and the legal I's, and we'll do that over the coming weeks and months uh, when we'll then have a formal announcement. What? But I've talked to our partners, um, and you know they're they're fine with the way I'm going to characterize it. But uh, you know, in, in football, uh, ESPN will return as a partner. Fox will be a new partner in the regular season. As you know, they've had the postseason uh, for the last uh, five years. Uh, and BTN, uh, essential, foundational to everything we do. We've actually extended the BTN agreement by five years to 2032. These other arrangements are six-year arrangements, so we'll be back in the marketplace after the 2023 season. But what we were seeking were great partners, great platforms, great promotion. And so in football, we have that in spades. We have, we'll have more big games on more big platforms than ever before. It's a split of the games in football. Uh, yeah, uh, BTN will have what they've had, plus a little bit more. I think they're uh, improved a bit, but largely uh, they were held harmless. Uh, I would tell you that there'll be more prime time, uh, that Fox will control the championship game every year, and that Fox will have the first uh, pick uh, of the game, of the games on a one-time basis, so that whatever they believe is the best game on a particular weekend, they'll control that weekend. In basketball, um, there's there's some new there as well. Instead of having the three partners, we've added Fox to that equation. So we've retained CBS to do a Sunday afternoon game in the semifinals and finals is one feature of that. The other is that ESPN uh, will retain um, uh, high-quality inventory. Fox will be a new partner, and they will basically split selections. Um, the tournament will be as it has been, although... Uh, we haven't crossed all T's and dotted all I's, so there's still some things uh, in flux. Uh, in football, I think the emphasis will be we'll have more games in prime, more, more big games in prime. Uh, we'll definitely go to the first week of November on a selected basis. We could go beyond that if our schools wanted to. And as you know, we've changed our scheduling principles, so we have nine conference games, all FBS opponents. There are a few contractually. Uh, committed games to FCS, but they declined during the course of the agreement, and they're far less than they were. More big intersectional games, more prime, and more partners. And so um, we feel like we came through it really, really well. Uh, we're really excited about the cross-promotional partnering that will happen, as well as the specific branding of Big Ten on each of these platforms. Jim.